Jeff, I know you've been staying on top of the weather for yes. this because uh, high temps, obviously the wind, all play a factor into firefighters battling this fire right now. And it is going to make it uh, tough as we continue through tonight. We're in another hot day here. Now, not as hot as it started off this week, uh, but certainly very, very dry conditions as well with our drought. Now, this is a live picture here showing that fire right on the Sunol Ridge. I can tell you from actually driving through this area on the way to work and passing through some of the smoke, it's not quite as thick as it was earlier. Uh, hopefully, that is a good sign at this point. We're still waiting on more updates from the firefighters, but usually that means they're getting some sort of an upper hand. But again, do not let your guard down because of those weather conditions. So here you can see downtown Pleasanton. Always like to get this map perspective for you, especially when we have those evacuations in place. Here's 680 Pleasanton Ridge right there. As we get a closer view, you'll be able to see the weather winds out of the west at 14. That's your sustained wind. We still could have gusts of about 20 miles per hour tonight, and it's a hot 92 with humidity at 23 uh, percent. Weather conditions tomorrow stay pretty much the same on the temperatures and also the wind. Now, the way the wind is blowing, it's coming from the west and moving off towards the east, so it actually could carry uh, some of the embers and those flames down the hillside here, and that's why we do have the evacuations from about uh, Bernal Ave and Foothill Road down to Castlewood Country uh, Club. So if you have those evacuations, again, please follow those orders until uh, they have been lifted. Now, we've got that second fire. We've also been following the Port Costa fire, and the way the wind is blowing in this fire, it's actually been beneficial because it's coming from the south and the west at about 17 miles per hour. So it's pushing any flames and embers out towards the open water here in the Carquinas Strait. It's kept the flames, as far as we know, away from this community, but we still have evacuations just because it is so close right along Canyon Lake Drive down to about Port Costa Community Garden. We've got full coverage at NBCBarrier.com and continuing coverage, of course, tonight on this. Now, when it comes to our weather, we were tracking quite a bit of lightning uh, this time yesterday across California. We have seen some of those lightning strikes kind of redevelop over the Sierra. That's where we do expect the highest risk of thunderstorms this evening. We've got the radar going. Anything gets close to us. And of course, we'll let you know about that. Otherwise, as we head through tomorrow's forecast, we're going to start it off with some fog here, a chance of some spotty drizzle near the coastline, and then we'll be into some sunshine as we head into the afternoon. Uh, morning temperatures are going to start off nice and refreshing. We're going to see a mix of 50s and 60s across the Bay Area with a little bit of that patchy fog near the coast and also the Bay. Daytime highs tomorrow just really staying just about the same, only cooling off maybe about a degree or two. That'll leave us at 86 in Santa Rosa, 92 in Concord, 89 San Jose. You got 70s in Oakland, 60s right here in Half Moon Bay. Seven day forecast shows in San Francisco. Better weather this weekend as we head into the Pride Parade on Sunday at 1030 in the morning, 69 degrees, and it mixes 60s and 70s next week. And through the inland valleys, we'll hold with some steady low 90s through about next Tuesday's forecast, then we drop it off into Thursday. So we'll have more updates on those fire conditions coming up at 530. Jeff, we have kept you busy this afternoon, and something tells me it's not going to be the last time. Thanks so much.